This is water, I promise. What I just said might make me sound like a bad parent. <laughs> it might make me sound like a bad mom. But I know that I'm not. I got a lesson on Charlie for she need under. I know, I know, it's been a while. <laughs> Let's go ahead and catch up. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna, and let's go ahead and just get into the video. <laughs> so, something that's really been on my heart recently is separating who I am from what I did, what happened to me, and what I do. I hope that will make sense as I continue to talk. I am working on repairing and restoring myself. Being a mom, being a parent in general, I feel is like a mirror. It is literally held up to your face and it doesn't stop. It doesn't go away, it doesn't fade, it's there. I studied psychology in college and I know that there is a huge tie between connections, trauma, experiences, things in childhood that kind of help and build, that also yield kind of someone's adulthood. I also think that as an adult, it is our responsibility to disrupt some of those things Kind of like when we know better, we do better. And that's kind of where I'm at. There are some things in my childhood that feel and felt really bad. And when it came down to it, that led to a lot of negative self-talk, issues with self-esteem and feelings of self-worth, right? And, and, and I guess lowered feelings of self-worth. As a parent, that stuff is being shown to me again in this experience. I have been a parent for three years. <laughs> I have two kids, in case you are new here. I have two girls, one of whom is three and one of whom is about to be two. She'll be two next month. One of the things that I miss is my mom's ability to speak life into me and pray over me and tell me that things that happened were not my fault. I think as a child, when you're left without a way to make sense of things, you kind of end up blaming yourself and that then makes you feel a type of way. I realize as I have my own children that there was a conscious decision there somehow made for my remaining parent to not parent me. I'm struggling with that idea because I'm a parent and I can never just turn my back or allow somebody else to do what I know deep down is my role and responsibility and that hurts. Also, in case you're new here, my biological mother died when I was 18 months old. And my aunt, who I call my mom, that's who I refer to uh, usually when I say mom, is technically my aunt, my dad's sister, who raised me. She became my legal guardian, took me in, she chose me, and my remaining parent did not. That sucks. There were multiple times in my life to which he could show up. He had opportunity, invited. The situation was made easy and he chose not to. Having lost my mom in 2021, the woman who would pour life into me, to speak life into me, to pray over me, having lost her, I'm angry. I'm angry about that. And still, my remaining parent has two beautiful grandchildren and has only met them one time. And that's because I took them over there. I'm angry. This comes into play as a mother and as a parent when I feel that when situations are extremely high stress and I'm overstimulated, 
I have an issue, I have a problem with my emotional regulation. I'm not good at it. In a professional setting, with friends, out in the world, I'm fine. I can take my 10 seconds, count, you know, breathe in, breathe out, count to 10, I can do that. When I'm here, when I'm at home, when I'm overstimulated, when I'm trying to parent, I am having trouble regulating my emotions when it comes to parenting and especially parenting children that do not know how to regulate their emotions either. <laughs> so it's like between me and the two of y'all, one of us needs to get it together and that's my job and that's what I am committed to doing. What I just said might make me sound like a bad parent. <laughs> it might make me sound like a bad mom, but I know that I'm not. There have been times when I yelled at my kids. I became the yelling mom. Nothing that I want to do, nothing that I want to uh, be, uh, but I think what's really important is that I recognize it and that I go back and do my best to restore. You know, mommy was really upset. I apologize, this made you feel like this, you told me this, and mommy fully understands and recognizes, and next time, this is what mommy will do differently. She's three, and almost two, and I have those conversations with them. I think it's extremely important to do. I want to teach them how to have restorative conversations, and know that not everything's gonna be perfect and, and, and we're not we're, we're, we're gonna make mistakes and how do we repair that is I think super important how do we restore like that whole idea of restorative justice right like I did this bad thing how do I then make amends I'm teaching them that but I also need to do better with that myself I told you one truth is that I am struggling with my emotional regulation when I am at wit's end and I think that's fairly typical but I realize it's because my go-to and my essentially trauma response is to run and flee and go somewhere safe. <laughs> I am ahead in this household. I am the adult here and I can't just run away. And that's the thing that I have to get through. I told you another truth. I said that I'm angry as it relates to the passing of my mom. She she died from cancer in 2021. I was on autopilot pretty much ever since <laughs> ever ever since until probably sometime in 2023 and I think 2024 is me really making some realizations and saying things out loud for the first time. I no longer have her to kind of tether me and to say that things are not my fault uh, that happened to me as a child um, that I am more than what I did that I am more than what I do in terms of you know profession I am working on understanding who I am now with these new identities there have been so many new identities as you grow you know older and I was born in the 80s I was born in the 80s man and uh, lost a parent you know she was she was my age essentially a little bit younger than me when she passed away and she had two kids she had me and my brother um who you know also passed away some years later and uh i'm also parenting and mothering while motherless and that's extremely tough and so my goal and promise and dream for myself is to really work out and differentiate who i am and that's different than me yelling at my kid what i did that's different than what I do as a nine to five employee. And that's separate than what happened to me. These are lessons that come up on the day to day. That mirror that I talked about, it's there. And it's my job to do the work. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I wanted to just put this out there. I wanted to make this video because maybe you yelled at your kids today or yesterday, or you will tomorrow. Okay, what do we do now? How do we restore? How are we making amends? Because our children are watching us, they're listening to us. Psychologically, the thing that we do when we're that young is to internalize, to blame ourselves, to say that I am unlovable, that I did something wrong, that it's my fault that they died. I'm not good enough. 
you know, you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? Um, and so as parents, it's our job to restore and fix that and to give word so that our young people don't have to make it up on their own and blame themselves. That's what we do next. <laughs> That's what we do next. We restore within ourselves and we restore with our kids and we change the next generation. With that said, the title of this video says that I will be giving you an update. So I wanted to just say, I mean, it's been a while. I haven't posted a video here since December and it is now <laughs> Q2, okay? It is April 2024 at this point. And so it's been some months, y'all, okay? It's been four months. Nova has started preschool. I have a preschooler, my baby girl. <laughs> She's doing great. She loves it. They send little pictures and everything through the app that we have. And it's a Christian based school, and I, I just love it. My mom was a preschool teacher. She was a pastor and a reverend as well, but she was a preschool teacher credentialed site supervisor like that was her thing she loved little ones and i know that they would be best friends right now um at this age this is her age my mom loved this age and aurora's getting there uh aurora is talking and understanding more and singing songs and reciting things and knows how to count and knows her rainbow colors and knows her abcs her alphabet like it's just wild to see how fast she is growing and progressing and i uh, everyone said you know she has an older sister and she's looking and picking up things and i just think their personalities are so different but they're sisters and you know they're related and i'm just trying to clutch my pearls and hold on to my edges because i know that when they are older they are going to give me a run for my money i mean they already are okay okay two under two i got a certification i was studying from october all the way to february when i took my certification test it was a very long test and i passed it and i got my sherm cp certificate so uh if you know anything about like human resources or hr this is a pretty big deal and i'm really excited about it i passed it on my first go and i was stressed honey i was stressed about it but i am sherm certified super super proud of myself and excited for what the future holds i am super excited to share with you my journey of restoration <laughs> so that is what's going on it has been a minute. I missed y'all. I don't want to be like all those other creators who were like, ah, oh, you know, it's been so long, I forgot I'm in a vlog. Like, no, this this feels this feels good. But this is like riding a bike. It feels good. I missed you all. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you be a part of the fam. I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers, but I need your help. I'll see you in my next video. That's it. That's a lot. I hope you got something from it. <laughs> if you if you feel what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments below, but um, I'll see you in my next video and I can't wait to continue connecting with you all. I really do appreciate you for being here and I'll see you in my next one. As always, remember to fill your cup. Fill your cup. This is water, I promise. Bye. <laughs>